Wishing each and every one of you a very, very happy Mahashivratri festival. And today we are going to discuss 10 clues about your profession from the D10 chart, the Dashamsha chart. No, the D9 chart, the D9, the Navamsha chart is also very important for your profession. All right. So what's the first thing that we can decide from the D9? Number one, the trines of the D9. So I have a series on what happens when a particular planet is in a particular house in the Navamsha by Vishti Larsen. So please type exotic astrology Navamsha. You will find Vishti Larsen's videos which he had done in my channel. So you will find the meaning of every planet in a particular trine of the Navamsha and in the other houses also. Okay, so I won't discuss much about that. But what does it tell you? The trines in the Navamsha are talents that are associated. So for example, if a particular planet is in a particular trine, that means that talent is somehow there in you from your previous lifetimes. You have mastered it. But now, if that particular planet, so suppose you have sun in the Navamsha's trines, so the first, fifth or the ninth, these three are the trines. But if this planet is not associated with the Artha houses in the D1, which means the 2nd, 6th, 10th or 11th. Now 11th is not an Artha house, but it is also the house of gain. So if the planet in the trines of D9 is not associated, then, uh, then this planet will not give you money, which means this will just remain as a, as a passion. Okay, so for example, if Mars is in your Navamsha trines, but if it is not connected to the 2nd, 6th, 10th and 11th, uh, then Martian traits like cooking or uh, learning astrology will be just like a local thing for you. It will be more personal, private. Okay, It won't be like uh, you will get name fame because of that. Okay, Because Artha is not coming through that in the D1. Okay, But trines will give you great talents Okay, in the D9. So please check what is going on in your Navamsha trines. Number two, Planets in the 10th house or the 11th house of the D1 chart, not D9, they will only give you good results if they are well placed in the D9 for profession. Why? Because the 10th house and the 11th house of the D1, the Lagna chart is very, very powerful to give, is very strong, is very potent to give you some big name, fame, power, position, money, wealth, administration and all this. But if these planets or if the 10th Lord or the 11th Lord of the D1 is not well placed in the Navamsha, is it not in good dignity in the D9, then it means that the greatness or the name fame that you have is very superficial. So for example, if your 10th Lord uh, of your D1 is badly placed in the Navamsha and suppose your 10th house is very strong in the D1, so what will happen is everybody else you will think you have a very big position you are very rich you have a lot of money you have a lot of influence but actually you don't have anything so it's like a uh, it's like hollow and empty inside okay so therefore before you jump into conclusions for the 10th and the 11th of the d1 please check their dignity in the d9 okay now number three very 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 important this is very critical planets connected to dustana houses in d1 will only give you bad results if they are also badly placed in the D9. Okay. Now, suppose you have a planet like you have Mars in the 12th house in the D1 chart. Okay. Now you say, oh, Mars is in Dostana. This will happen. That will happen. Bad things will happen. There will be violence. There will be anger. There will be, you know, fire, all these things. But if this planet is well placed in the D9, then what happens is there is some struggle and then later on there is success. Because you will see so many people who will have a lot of planets in Dustana houses who will also be very successful. Why, Why is that? Because that planet is well placed in the D9. But if a planet is in Dustana house in your D1 and in the D9, it is also badly placed. The dignity is not good or it is also in a Dustana in the D9, then then there, there is struggle and then there is failure. So after struggle, there could be two things, either failure or success. But in this case, there will be failure. And if it is well placed in the D9, then in the Dasha of that planet, 
there will be struggle and then there will be success okay very 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 important number four planet in navamsha lagna this can determine your circumstances of your birth okay and it can show your default thought process so for example if sun or mars is in the navamsha lagna this will uh, this can give you more fiery traits because they are agni tattva planets okay you can be short tempered you 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 can uh, blast on people uh, if people are incompetent they are not smart you, you cannot tolerate them okay that can give a lot of narcissism also sometimes but irrespective of the planet in the first house of your d9 you need to check where is this planet placed in the d1 chart because that will tell you if this trait will be utilized in a good way or bad way in your profession so for example as i said if you have sun in the navamsha lagna you would love to hear praises and um, yeah people admiring you but that if that planet again the same rule applies if that planet is connected to the 10th house so suppose surya is in your 10th house of your d1 chart and it is in the first house of d9 then what happens is you will not only like to uh, be praised or you won't just like name fame you will get name fame okay so the planet in the navamsha lagna will will tell you who the person is but will that be reflected in the profession that you have to see from the uh, from the d1 okay so you have to know how to uh, cross check both the things in uh, the same thing in both the charts okay d1 and d9 otherwise you will uh, make blunders in predictions number 5 very very critical if in your navamsha chart d9 chart mercury is in a good dignity and also in a good house dignity means the sign now which signs are mercury good in mercury is good in earth signs because he is exalted in virgos he is also good in taurus and capricorn and also gemini is his own sign so he also does great in uh, libra and uh, aquarius okay but the best is in earth sign so if he is in any of the six signs and he is also in a good good uh, house for wealth so which are the good houses the second house sixth house tenth house and the eleventh house in the navamsha okay then this will give you very good business acumen and along with that you need to check the date of birth also if somebody has five or if their basic number is five which means they are born on fifth fourteen twenty third or their destiny number is five which means you add all the digits and you get five and uh, this this pinky finger uh, this one this finger if this is also very long so then along with this if mercury is also well placed in the d1 then there is great business acumen a lot of uh, the person can sell very well okay so they can be great sales agents okay now number 6 very 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 important a well placed lagna lord of d9 so your d9 wherever the lagna lord is this shows uh, to what extent is a person truthful and uh, believing of one, one's own ideals okay so for example if the lagna lord of your d9 is in a very bad dignity especially uh, afflicted in enemy sign or in debility or in a dustana then what can happen is there could be a tendency within the person to to lower his or her moral standards sometimes okay so this is very important if you are the boss of a company you are a manager and you need to hire somebody and let's imagine you have this chart so then you you need to understand if this person has a bad lagna lord of the d9 then you have to take whatever he says with a grain of salt because he may be exaggerating things he may be exaggerating problems he may exaggerate his success okay so you need to be careful if you are in a uh, superior position uh, and if somebody is an employee or a subordinate but if the lagna lord of d9 is very strong then the person will be uh, considerably honest not only in the in career in also in relationships and every other place okay so this is very 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 important or else there could be corruption okay? so which is basically lying basically in short now venus in the navamsha chart venus as you know is the atma karaka this is the point number seven venus in the uh, navamsha chart tells what 
this person believes about life in general. Veena Sindha Navamsha tells you what is the worldview of this person. So what does this person think about the world? What is his worldview? Does he think the world is a good place or a bad place? Does he think everybody is a cheater or does he think everybody is a good person? So that same trait will be reflected. So for example, if Venus is well placed in the Navamsha chart and Venus is badly placed in the D1, then what will happen is the person may believe the world is good, but then there will be some suffering externally. But the person will still believe that the world is good. Okay. But if Venus is well placed in D1, so externally things are good. But if badly placed in D9, then the person is always complaining and uh, seeing the negative of uh, in everybody and always very pessimistic. These people are expert gossip mongers. So therefore, again, if you are a uh, if you are a manager or, or an employer and you know this that this employee has this, then you need to make sure that they are not spoiling other people around you they are not spilling poison against the company or against you or against some other colleagues okay so these sutras will help you that's the magic of astrology it will help employees employers senior juniors everybody all right now number eight the dustana lords of d9 so if the sixth lord eighth lord or the twelfth lord is in the navamsha lagna so the Dustana Lords of Navamsha, if they are sitting in the Navamsha's first house, the Navamsha Lagna, then the person has a tendency to make bad decisions in career or in life in general. So for these people, they can either do blunders or they may uh, they may not be able to take a decision or they may be like halfway, you know, confused, should I do this, do that. So for these people, it is better that they remain employees. Okay, because then you know what to do. Somebody tells you, okay, do this. If you try to become an entrepreneur or a businessman or self-employed, then the problem is you can go in the wrong direction. So this position can improve provided you get good guidance from some guru, senior or some astrologer. Otherwise, you will remain headless uh, if the position is very bad. So for example... If Guru is in Navamsha Lagna in Capricorn, in debility, and also Mars is afflicting Guru. So then it's like the person is confused, but the person thinks what he thinks is right. But actually the person is confused, okay? And to pretend to the outer world that he's very good, he will do things which will fall eventually, which will fail. Okay, so therefore very important. Should you be a, an employee or should you be an entrepreneur? You can see from the Navamsha. Now, this is point number nine, which is related to the uh, Navamsha, nine, all right? But the 10th Lord of the D9 shows the skills that you have used in your profession in your previous lifetimes. Therefore, if you are confused in regards to what you should do in life, you should check the 10th Lord of the Navamsha. Where is the 10th Lord of the Navamsha placed in your D1 chart? So, for example... Uh, if you are a Pisces Lagna in the Navamsha, so your 10th Lord is again Jupiter because Sagittarius is uh, there in the 10th house. Now, go to your D1 and see where is this Jupiter place. Is the Jupiter related to your Artha houses? Like is Jupiter conjunct the 6th Lord, 10th Lord or 11th Lord? Or is he sitting one in one of these four houses? Or is he um, kind of getting aspect or is he aspecting the Lords of these houses? So... In case you are confused, you have too many options, then this is something you can select as your profession, okay? And last but not the least, a good D9. It shows overall life is much, much better in your professional realm and there is less hard work, okay? Now, what does it mean to have a good D9? Good D9 means if majority of your planets in the D9, they are placed uh, in good dignity and in good houses. So, for example, out of the nine, if there are five or six planets which are well placed in the Kendra. So, if they are in Kendra and they are in good signs for that particular planet, then your overall life is way better. So, you may have the same things in your profession compared to your colleague, but your overall life experience is way, way, way multiple times better. Okay. So, therefore... You need to understand that if the Navamsha is not good, 
how much ever the d1 is good then it means you have to fight to achieve all these things but it won't be just uh, given to you very easily now some people may say oh that's not a good thing that's a bad thing but out of 100 if you ask maybe 99 percent of the people will say oh i want a easy life where i don't have to do much right now there could be one person who may say no no i want to struggle and get everything which is again perfectly fine but i am talking in terms of probability 99 percent people will not say that okay so therefore if a person has a good navamsha then you know this person will not only have a good career <clears throat> will have a good health a uh, good married life good social connections good name fame and good money all, always all right Thank you so much for your patience. If you're new, then please subscribe to the channel and share your content, uh, share uh, your experiences about your Navamsha and your profession in the comments. And uh, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And for consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. Thank you so much.